All right guys, so I was gonna do an entire build video on this, uh, but then I realized that I don't have a ton of experience in welding and nobody's really gonna wanna watch me stumble through the process of creating something uh, from raw materials. So uh, instead, I decided to just show you the finished product. When I was planning this welding cart build, I looked around online for inspiration, making something from just angle iron, specifically old bed frames. And I didn't really find any designs of people just straight using angle iron. But most of what I found was people using square tubing or um, something that I didn't really have in my scrap pile. So this is the design that I came up with for my particular welder. And so this is the design I came up with. Um, so I just drew this up in SketchUp and these pieces over here indicate the length of raw material that I had. So just the, the four pieces of bed frame that I had. I color coded these so I could see exactly uh, what pieces went where. Um, but pretty simple design and here's how it turned out. So I think it turned out pretty good. So here's a little closer look. Um, these back upright pieces, uh, both of these are 18 inches long. Um, it's just that my top tray is welded in flush with the top of this one and here it's sitting on top of it. So I just got a little bit of angle there. Um, you can see I used, these are the brackets that typically bolt to a headboard and I just welded those in just to form a little notch for the bottle to rest against. Um, I will just use like a lashing strap, ratchet strap uh, around here to hold the bottle in tight. During construction of this, um, this angle iron piece sits on the outside of this frame. So this bottom frame and this top frame are the exact same width. But to get this in halfway, um, this angle iron piece, I just cut a notch so that it would slide down over this leg of the angle. So don't look at my welds, um, they're not the greatest. I need more practice, but right here, there's just a notch that slid down and then I welded it up. Um, the wheels that I used, I originally wanted like, um, like a six or eight inch wheel on the back and then just a small swivel caster on front. But I went to a local surplus store and I got this set of four wheels, two fixed and two swivel. Uh, for eight dollars total so i couldn't beat that so th this should work fine for my purposes um but here it is uh, i may end up putting a piece of plywood up here um, the welder itself will sit on the frame here um, so it's not going to fall through but i may want it raised up just a little bit um, this front edge all of my leads and stuff clear this but i haven't actually tested out if i can open my door without it hitting this so let me get the welder in the bottle on here and you can see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Um, I can get in that door, no problem. Uh, so I don't think I'll need any plywood there. Um, I do wanna do something as far as cable management, uh, maybe a hanger on the side over here or up front here. Um, I plan on keeping my helmet and gloves down here, uh, but I need somewhere to put these cables first. So uh, I'll try to figure out something as far as making some hangers. I don't know if I'll weld them on or rivet them on or maybe just make little hooks that hook over the edge. Um, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, took me way longer than I thought it was going to take, um, but I'm happy with the result and happy I don't have to lug this around and that I can keep my uh, shielding gas supported. So something else I wanted to mention is I purchased my shielding gas. It's a C25, 75% argon. And I called around to local gas suppliers and this is an 80 cubic foot bottle. And none of them had this size in stock. I got prices for what they had, which was the shorter uh, 40 cubic foot. Um, got prices on that and then asked them, you know, when they had these in stock, how much it normally costs. I knew I wanted this size bottle just from talking to a couple buddies that, that do some welding. So I started looking around and I happened to find, you can buy, this is a brand new bottle, uh, DOT certified, um, made in the USA. Uh, comes completely full, um, shipped to my house for less than they were gonna charge for the 40 cubic foot bottle locally. So, uh, so to me, it was a no brainer. I went this route and I'll actually put an affiliate link down in the description for this. So if you're looking for shielding gas, definitely see the link down below. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. 
uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along. Um, I will post a link to this design file uh, or an image of this design file uh, so you can reference it. Um, you may need to resize some things for your particular welder. Um, but until next time, we'll see you later.